Hello guys, welcome to Piping Welding and NDT channel. So my video is about typical typical isometric symbols. Okay. So this is my video now. So let's discuss this typical isometric videos okay so the typical isometric videos one is if you see this line and they have an arrow there so what is this so this is low direction okay Now, if you see this symbol, so this is a straight one side, and they have a this one, ha one and other side is have an angle. So this is eccentric reducer, okay. And this symbol is concentric reducer. Next, You see these symbols this is stop this is from the support this line and they have one two lines there this is a guide okay if you see this have a rectangle downside this is shoe with guides Next, these symbols means this is swages. Okay, now let's discuss a butt weld, socket weld, and a screw joint. This is butt weld socket weld and screwed joint so this is gate bulb okay they have a circle there and they have a circle there dotted okay this is a butt weld And then another gate bulb and the symbol is like this so this is a socket weld another symbol so this is lead pipe also and this is the screw joint next So this is a slip on plans in the socket weld the symbol is like this and the screwed normally like that okay next is lap joint lap joint plans And I have a joint there. This is a lap joint plant. Okay.
So this is a 90 degrees elbow a screw joint from the socket uh, uh, from the this is uh, the socket weld and from the screwed like that okay now from the 90 degrees butt weld if you see this dotted and another one dotted with line like this this is fill weld and this is shaft weld okay that uh, they have a different um uh fill weld shaft weld it depends upon on the company okay the symbol this one is this is union and from the uh, screw joint so this like this this is the symbol of union okay so I will give you an, an example from the isometric drawing so this is the isometric drawing so if we can see we have a uh, arrow there on the line so this arrow this arrow is a flow direction right so our flow direction is going down okay so these symbols is this is our orifice flange and we have um we have a 90 degrees elbow there and also 90 degrees elbow so this is we have a shadow this is a vertical line if you see this cloud they have a revision of this drawing okay and we have a spool number this is a spool number spool 10 and we have a shop weld joint and this is a fill weld okay. and this is the joint number joint 39 fill weld this joint 38 is a shop weld okay so if you see this dotted line in the drawing so this is they have a heat tracing okay this uh, tracing is heat tracing insulation so this is the continuation continuation number continuation of this ice uh, line and we have um, also elevation this is el is elevation this elevation is 10918 what else so this is the shadow vertical we have a shadow vertical there and horizontal okay They have a spool this is a spool line and we have also a bulb there okay so our bulb is uh, the name of bulb is um, this is a ball bulb so this is a bill of materials so all of this in the line you can see from this BOM you can see here the pipe size the type of ma material type of pipe a schedule oh, this is a 833 grade 6 this is a low temp okay schedule this is a standard this is a seamless pipe and I have a pittings there 
so this is a 90 degrees elbow and we have also 45 degrees elbow and we have a flange a weld neck flange so this is our weld neck flange okay so from this ball bulb if you see this arrow this is a arrow of this ball bulb okay so this is important if you install this uh, ball bulb you must uh, check the flow direction of the ball bulb okay And then um, from the downside, you can see here that the design pressure, the operating, the test uh, pressure type, what insulation, painting, okay. They have a tracing, painting system, they have a PWHT, line list, low width code, piping class, and material class. And also, this uh, revise revision. Okay, this is the important. You must check the revision. Why? Because if you use, uh, uh, if your isometric is not uh, is a uh, old, and then you install the line, and this is of uh, the problem. You cut again the line because they have a new revision. So this is the important, okay? So check the revision. This is a revision one MO03. So this is a new. So we have a line number also and the design area. So this is the uh, isometric draw drawing, and you can see. Check also the. Uh, Norting, okay. We have a Norting here. So this is our North. This is the important. If you install this uh, in the five rack, you must check the the orientation and also the elevation. Elevation, Norting, Easting, okay. So that's all for now guys and I hope you have learned about this uh, typical isometric symbols and what is it? what is the scope of this isometric drawing is all about what is the line and then the uh, and the BOM the line number okay that's all for now guys thanks for watching and I hope you have learned about this video and see you in my next video again. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.